So we are urging the peers and the minister, the CS himself, to really investigate. We are asking DCI, we are asking all the authorities to make sure they investigate and to find out as to how the fake fertilizer got into the system. Because we are distributing at National Cereal and Produce Board, which is now a government agency. And we want to believe that anything that goes through the government agency has been verified, CAPS have done their work, and they have certified that the fertilizer that is coming to be distributed to the farmers are real fertilizer, but not fake fertilizer. The number of bags that were sold in Celia was 2,400. What are we going to do with those farmers who already have 2,400 bucks? We want to ask the government, one, is to get hold of the distributor and the person who produced this fertilizer, and then two, he has to go in and he has to pay the penalties. And then three, to make sure that all our farmers who manage to purchase will be compensated. They have to be compensated and they have to be given the good fertilizer. Government. It is a very big embarrassment because the president has taken time to subsidize this fertilizer from 7,500 to 2,500. It is not that the fertilizer is the cost of fertilizer, not 2,500. The actual cost of fertilizer is 7,500. But the government is subsidizing the difference. That means these particular cartels are taking advantage to bring fake fertilizers into the system so that they can make money at an expense of the farmer. We want to make sure that the individuals are arrested. The big problem that you usually run into, somebody is arrested, but because he has made so much money by selling the fertilizer, he will bribe somebody and he gets out of, of, of jail. We want to make sure the president take this matter seriously. And I know he will take it very seriously because he's also a farmer. We are going back to parliament and the, 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 the committee on agriculture. I want to ask the chairman to make sure that CS himself not even the peers, the peers and the CS to appear before the committee or parliament to just give us the reason as to how the fake fertilizers got into the system. It is letting down the president, it is letting down the government, it is letting down the Kenyans and the farmers in general. So somebody has to pay the price and the buck stops with the CS.